Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren the 11 and today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video and that is how I do my two cane road braids with feeding hair. Now guys, I'm not the best at feeding hair. I even just hopped on YouTube just a minute ago to watch some tutorials on how to do this and I still don't think I've got the hang of it, but I make this look good. So I'm going to be showing you what I did to get the desired look today. Right, so first of all guys, this is the state of my hair at the moment. It's not in a bad condition, it's very nice. I washed, conditioned it. In fact, I co-washed yesterday. I don't necessarily like co-washing, but I did notice I done experimental co-washing a couple of years back. My hair grew a lot. I just couldn't get into my head that my hair was being cleansed. Anyway, I know a lot of people say it's not for cleaning and not for cleansing, but when I read about co-washing, that's what I read it does. Apparently it's meant to cleanse your hair. It's meant to give you that midweek moisture and cleanse your hair. Instead of getting to the logistics, let's get into this video. So my hair has been co-washed. I did deep condition it as well. And I blow dried my hair last night with hair grease just to straighten it. I like to prep my hair because because my hair's getting longer and thicker, it takes quite a while now. I'm not bragging, I'm, I promise you I'm not. Sorry, I can't remember where I was. I had an interruption from the kids, but this is what it's like being a mom, eh? Yeah, so I said I wasn't, I'm not bragging guys, I'm just saying because my hair is getting longer and thicker, I do have to do a lot of the preparations I'm finding off camera and come back to you for the initial style, unless I'm showing you obviously how to wash and deep condition my hair. But that is a whole nother video. What I'm going to be using is my Magic Edge Wax and I've got multiples here behind me. I've got red, gold, blue, purple and I'll be using orange today. I don't know if they have a green actually, I can't remember but to be honest I just picked up as many as I could carry and I left. I paid for them but then I left. So this is Magic Edge Wax from Afro Naturel. I think I'm just going to stop talking and show you how I do this guys. It's not going to be a talking tutorial because I think I talk a lot because I like to talk. Alright, alright. But I'm just going to carry on and I'm going to show you how to do it guys. So carry on watching.
Right guys, some of this is hair that I've used before and some of it's new hair. So, put my finger like that and with this finger, I'm going to hook it on. So I've got it now. I'm just flatten it in. Take some more. I'm going to hold it like in a loop and hook it onto my finger. Get some more, hold it like a loop, hook it with my other index finger. So this is what I've got so far. I don't think it's the best, but I'm trying. And this is the length I'm gonna get. As you can see, my natural hair is there. Take some of the edge control. Just so as the days go on, my hair is blended and it doesn't start sticking up. So I'm going to do that because I don't like my hair to be all tangled. I'm just going to comb it in. I think I've added enough hair for that section. So some more of my hair. More edge wax on my ends. So I'm just brushing out the synthetic hair. feeding hair that I've got mixed with my own hair. Now my own hair is actually quite brown so this feeding hair is noticeable but the reason why I'm using this hair is because it was a leftover pack from when I was doing my sister's hair when I done her hair in those four cameras. If you haven't seen that I will link that video in the description box and at the end of this video also. So obviously guys you just want to plait all the way down which I'm going to do. Uh, that is pretty much it. So I'm going to go and do the other side of camera. Then I'll come back to you once I've zhuzhed up. And yeah, it's not a long video, guys. I'm not the greatest at feeding in here, but I tried. All right, guys, so I will see you in a minute. So guys, I am back. Hair is complete. I think I've done not a bad job. In fact, I think I've done pretty darn good. Let's just quickly show you. I've done my edges with the edge wax and it will stay like this. All I need to do is just put a headscarf round and it will be like this in the morning. Back. By the way guys, hair grease has really been taking care of that nape. Getting those little stray hairs back there, they're growing nicely. All right guys, so let me show you the ends. So this is what we have. So that's how it looks at the back. And let me show you the connection. So the feeding that I've done. So obviously my hair's in here. I think I've done a pretty good job. A lot better than last time. I'm getting better because basically what I'm aiming to do, guys, is box braid, chunky box braids, and this feeding method is perfect. I feel like I'm going to get the look I'm looking for, look I'm looking for, the look I'm going for, like I did today. All right, guys, so I hope I didn't confuse you too much. I did try hard. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, tips, what have you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And... If you want to see how I did my sister's hair, I will leave the video at the end of this so you can go ahead and watch straight after this video. So don't forget to get to the end of this video and click that one and have a look. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.